Want to add interesting harmonies to your vocals in a matter of seconds? From dust to dust to one of us. Drew Swisher here with Musician on a Mission, and today I'll be showing you how Harmony Engine by Antares can help you take a solo vocal like this. Wild fire. And make it a full section like this. Wild fire. First, let's get a quick overview of the settings. These are all of your different channels, basically. The original vocal is on this channel right here, while the harmonies are on these ones. As you can see, you can uh, change their volume and their panning, some stuff that you're already familiar with like that, but then you've got some uh, more complex tools as well. For example, this throat length, which is gonna basically change the formant of the sound. So by default, here's how this harmony sounds. I can still smell your smoke. And uh, if we shorten the throat length, it's gonna make it sound higher, even though it's not actually changing the pitch. I can still smell your smoke. Get that Alex G or Frank Ocean from Blonde Vibe, or you can go early Tyler the Creator by lengthening the throat and getting a deeper sound. I can still smell your smoke. And there are a ton of other effects for each of these harmonies that I'm gonna talk about in more depth later, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste of how this thing sounds. Above and below the individual channels are global effects that are going to affect all the harmonies. And then over to the right here, you can select how you're choosing the harmonies that are being played. So right off the bat, I wanna show you how to set up Harmony Engine on your tracks. There's an easy way and a hard way, but the hard way gives you more control. So let's check out the easiest way first, and that's to just add it directly as a plugin on the track. So here's my vocal track, and I've just added Harmony Engine on it as a plugin. This is a great way to do it if you want a simple harmony and you don't mind having limited control over the notes that are being added. So once you've added Harmony Engine to the track, you're gonna go up here to Harmony Source and set it to Scale Interval. And this basically just tells Harmony Engine that you want to use set intervals for the harmonies. Then you're gonna wanna set the key of your song. That way, the harmonies that are being added are always in tune. Finally, you can adjust the individual intervals by clicking these drop downs here. So this one's set to a, an octave above. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. Or I could set it to an octave below. I can still smell your smoke all over. You get the idea. It's uh, honestly really fun to just play around with these different intervals and figure out what sounds cool for the song. So take some time to experiment. But what if you want to decide all the notes in the harmony yourself? You know, rather than just setting intervals, you actually want to play the parts. Harmony Engine also lets you uh, play in notes on a MIDI controller, and this is the harder way to set it up. So first off, we're gonna set this vocal track to no output, because we're not actually going to need to hear it directly. Then we're gonna create a new software instrument track. From here, we're going to select Harmony Engine and it's gonna be down under Audio Unit MIDI Controlled Effects. So let me add it on there and we're gonna rename this Harmony Engine. Once the track's been created, you're gonna to wanna to set the Harmony Source to MIDI Omni. And this basically tells Harmony Engine to look for MIDI information for which notes it should play. Then open up the sidechain menu right here and select the track that you want to affect. So I'm selecting Vox 1 because that's what I want to add harmonies to. Then you'll just wanna make sure that the MIDI track is selected and record armed. Once you play the song, you should hear the notes you play on your MIDI keyboard on top of the regular vocals. So let's just do that real quick. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. So yeah, whatever I play on my MIDI keyboard here is gonna be added as a harmony over the sound. This process can be a little different depending on your DAW, so if you're using something other than Logic, just Google the name of your DAW followed by Harmony Engine MIDI. The next thing you'll wanna do is figure out if you want realistic sounding harmonies or ones that sound like weird digital effects. Personally, I'm pretty fond of using Harmony Engine to get weird glitchy sounds like Bon Iver would have, and I'll show you that soon, but I imagine a lot of people are looking for something kind of adjacent to realism. You know, it's not gonna be as realistic as real singers, of course, but nonetheless, you can get a pretty realistic sound. So let's talk about that first. So there's a few things you can do to enhance realism. First, you'll wanna focus on these global parameters around here 
here, and these help Harmony Engine understand what it's hearing. Basically, you're tuning Harmony Engine to match the performance. First, you want to set the input vocal range. So if your singer has a really high voice, you'll want to select soprano. If they've got a really low voice, go with baritone and bass. And if it's in between, go with alto tenor, which is what I'm going to go with today. Then set the model glottal, which hopefully I'm pronouncing right. I don't know, model glottal. This helps the harmonies accurately imitate the performance style. Usually medium's a pretty safe bet, but if you got a singer with a really soft vocal tone, you may want to set it to soft, or if they're really abrasive, you may want to set it higher. And you'll probably want to make sure that this denoise button is selected. Harmony Engine changes the formance of the vocal, which is going to naturally add noise, so denoise will help clean that up. And finally, you may want to change the pitch tracking. If something's been recorded with too much background noise, Harmony Engine's gonna have a tough time figuring out what sounds to focus on. A lot of the time the default setting is fine, it's like 25 or something like that, but you may wanna just experiment around if it's sounding a little bit weird. If you're hearing notes change octave unexpectedly or notes not getting picked up, you're probably gonna wanna change this. And to do that, you'll just move this tracking fader around till you find something that sounds best. You were meant to be than just me. All right, now that Harmony Engine knows what it's hearing, let's get on to the fun stuff. You can use these humanized tools to add randomization to each harmony. So as I turn up Naturalize, it's going to add some of the vibrato from the original recording. And as you might guess, pitch and timing variation will add some natural pitch and time variation. It's important to note that these settings affect all of these harmonies. So... As I turn up pitch variation, subtle randomization is going to be added to all of these harmonies, but they still operate independently, so the pitch changes for each track will be different from one another. You're just increasing the range for each of them, basically. So I'm going to dial this in a little bit, add some harmony, add some pitch variation, and some timing variation, and let's see how that sounds now. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheet. And uh, if we were to get rid of these humanized tools, let's see how it would sound then. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. Honestly, not super different on this particular vocal, but maybe just a little bit more realistic with this humanize added. Next, we can use that throat length I talked about earlier to make it more realistic. So for example, we've got kind of a lower part here. I want to lengthen the throat a little bit, and then these are kind of higher parts, so I'm gonna shorten them, that way they sound a little bit higher in tone. So let's check that out now. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. Yeah, that's a lot better in my opinion, and I'm actually gonna reset these levels a little bit for some more realism. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. Get a better blend going. When it comes to realism, you don't need to go overboard with this throat length. A little can go a long way. So, you know, if I were to set this all the way up here, it might sound more digital rather than realistic. So don't get too wild with these. And finally, you can add more vibrato to your harmony parts with these vibrato settings below each channel. Rate is going to change how fast the vibrato is. Onset delay will change how long it takes for the vibrato to start. Pitch amount is basically your depth control, you know, how high the range of the pitch changes are. And finally, amplitude amount is going to change the volume variation throughout the track. So if you want to use these, they can be really helpful for adding separation to your harmonies, giving them unique characters. But if you want a really glued together background vocal sound, this might not help. It's also important to note that if you're going for realism, you shouldn't use the naturalize and vibrato at the same time. They can sound kind of weird when used simultaneously because you're basically stacking two different vibratos on top of each other. So I'm actually going to turn these down because uh, I don't really want to use this. I'm going for a glued sound. There we go. Once you've got these set nicely, you may want to use the choir effect down here. And this basically multiplies the voices. So instead of our original vocal just sounding like one, we could make it sound like four voices. Let's check it out. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. And we can add that to our harmonies as well. I can still feel your touch on my skin like a burn in the third degree. And we can choose between two voices. You were meant to be adored by more Eight voices. than just me. 
16. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheet. But for this particular vocal, I like how it sounds with only the choir on the original vocal sound. So let's check that out. And I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. It really helps cover up any of the digital artifacts in these harmonies that might give them away. And I think it really helps kind of bring it all together. So I like how it sounds just using it on the original vocal. But let's say you don't want realism. Maybe you just want cool effects. You can do that as well. So you could use steeper settings on the throat length, like I said. So let's try that out real quick. And I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. And you could also mix and match formants in a weird way. So, you know, this is a lower part. I'll make it a higher throat or I'll make it a smaller throat length. Uh, and then I'll lengthen this one. And I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. Another cool thing to play around with is the uh, freeze button up here. And basically this freezes whatever sound that the harmonies are on at that exact moment and just kind of stretches it out, looping it across the track. So let me show you how it sounds. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. I can still feel your touch on my skin like a burn in the third degree. You could use this to create some really cool pads, especially if you just threw a really long reverb on here and use the freeze function. So let me show you that. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff you could do there. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> Another thing we could do is make sure that the original audio is muted on the MIDI channel, and then we're gonna make the original track audible again. So let's do that real quick. And then now we can affect these differently. So I'm just gonna leave the original vocals dry exactly how they sounded before, and I'm gonna add some weird effects to the Harmony engine. Let's check that out real quick. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. I can still feel your touch on my skin like a burn in the third degree. This is honestly probably my favorite way to use Harmony Engine, you know, in conjunction with these other strange effects, because you can get some really weird sounds that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. I can still smell your smoke all over my sheets. I can still feel your touch on my skin like a burn in the third degree. Lots of weird stuff you could do here, which personally I think is awesome. But one of my favorite ways to get glitch effects is by putting Harmony Engine on a polyphonic instrument. So Harmony Engine was designed for monophonic sounds. You know, it's supposed to be used on vocals, maybe a synth that's just playing one note at a time. And when you use it on a sound that already has chords and harmonies, it gets confused. And this creates really weird artifacts. So let me show you how it sounds on a guitar that's playing some arpeggios that carry over into each other. So here's the guitar by itself. I'm actually gonna crank the volume a bit. Here it is with Harmony Engine. As you can tell, this isn't gonna work for every song. You know, if you've got just a regular rock track, you may not wanna do this, but for something a little more experimental, I think that honestly sounds beautiful. So uh, play around with what you can get. Here I've got a just a regular monophonic pad. Let me show you how it sounds. And here it is with Harmony Engine. Oh. 
And aside from adding those harmonies, it also just gives it a, a sharper tone, a different timbre. So it's really worth experimenting with different sounds, you know, throw it on vocals and see what you can get, but also try it out on different instruments and see what happens. Even if it's a polyphonic instrument, you might end up with something really cool. This hasn't been an exhaustive review of every single thing you can do with it. There's tons of other stuff you can do as well. I really love using it for when I'm just figuring out harmony parts for an arrangement before I even bring any other singers in. It's a great tool for getting new ideas. You know, whether you're going for something more digital or some realism, you can get a lot out of it. But having cool tools like Harmony Engine isn't gonna make every mix perfect. If you really wanna make sure you get the most out of every song, make sure you check out this free workshop from Rob Mazes at Musician on a mission. He goes over the seven steps to getting radio ready mixes and shows you his approach to home recording and mixing, which will help you do all of this way faster. 36,000 people have already taken this workshop and it only takes a few days to start seeing results. So check it out if you want to avoid wasting your time and your money on the wrong things and learn the seven steps you actually need to make pro mixes. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, hit that subscribe button with the power of a 300 person choir singing of Wagnerian opera. All right, that's all from me. I'm Drew Swisher with Musician on a Mission. I'll see you again soon. And remember, create regardless. Mm -hmm.